Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is going to be the full story of Samantha Maxis, who is the newest character within Black Ops Cold War, added in the most recent update. You know her from Zombies. She has recently converged with the campaign and the story of Black Ops, and it is super, super interesting. I dove deep into this one. I typed up a 67-page document, and then I had to narrow that down because that would be like a two-and-a-half-hour video, um, and I think I narrowed her story down into something that is simplistic, that makes sense, but keeps all of the intricate details from her zombie story and that's really the key because i really could make a two and a half hour video about this but i've narrowed it down and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i i never do this in my videos but if you do enjoy this video please hit that like button i've never worked harder on a video i'd really appreciate it and uh i guess without further ado ladies and gentlemen this is the full story of samantha maxis November 5th, 1934. Samantha Maxis was born in Germany to the father of Ludwig Maxis and an unknown mother. Unfortunately, her mother died during childbirth, so we don't really know much about her. There is an interesting theory about her that her name was also Samantha Maxis, but I'm gonna try to stay away from theories in this video. Now, because of the death of the mother, Dr. Maxis was forced to bring Samantha with him everywhere, including to the testing facility, Doris. And at the time, he wasn't really able to give her the attention that she needed because, well, he was a busy man, he was a doctor. Now at this time, Richtofen started for some reason experimenting on Samantha, and over time with spending time with her, started to hate her and her father, Dr. Maxis as well. Now as she got older, she got more and more bored with Doris, so instead of getting her a babysitter or sending her to daycare, they instead locked her in a room with her dog named Fluffy. Now, you must be very diligent with her, Samantha. Owning a dog is a great responsibility. Yes, Father. Oh, I love her. You must feed her every day and walk her and be very careful when you play with her. You know she's going to have puppies. Really? Can I keep the puppies too, Father? We'll see, Samantha. One step at a time. Now, it was around this time that Dr. Maxis started messing around with teleportation, and what he decided to do was use Fluffy as a test subject. So basically, he uses the teleporter, Fluffy goes in, but when Fluffy comes out, he comes back a hellhound. At this time, Samantha Maxis happens to come into the room. Well, open the door! Doctor, I don't think- Open the door! Now! What are you doing with Fluffy? Damn it, Samantha, I told you never to come in here. Edward, get her out of here. Yes, Doctor. What's wrong with her? Daddy, what did you do? Fluffy! Come back here, Samantha! Stop her! Easy! Come here, Samantha. Good girl, Flossie. Gently, Samantha. That's not Flossie anymore. Now, at this time, Richtofen decides to take advantage of the situation, locks Samantha and Dr. Maxis in the room with the teleporter, and turns it on, teleporting both of them to different locations. Samantha Maxis just so happens to get teleported to the moon, specifically to the MPD machine. Now, it is shortly after this where Samantha realizes that she can control the zombies from inside the MPD. And at this point, Richtofen is a little bit jealous because he wants to be in control of the zombies, so he once again reaches out to his crew and says, go find Dr. Maxis so we can get Samantha out of there so he can be put in there. Once they find Dr. Maxis, things don't go according to plan for Richtofen. I love you, Samantha. <laughs> I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> can you do something for me? Something very important. Yes. <laughs> Kill them. Now, a couple things of interest there. First of all, you may recognize that laugh. The other thing is you hear a gunshot. This gunshot is incredibly important for Dr. Maxis's story, but not as much for Samantha's. So it's one of the most confusing parts of the story. So I'm not gonna dive into that in this video. 
maybe in the future. Uh, but let's go back to Samantha. So at this point, she is trapped in the MPD on the moon and now controlling the zombies and at her father's instructions, trying to take out all of 935. So what is Richtofen's solution to this? Essentially, what he ends up doing is switching bodies with Samantha Maxis. He puts his soul into Samantha and Samantha is then now inside of Richtofen. And by the end of Moon, what ends up happening is they end up launching rockets at the Earth to sever the link between the ether and the real world. However, it doesn't really go according to plan. They end up basically incinerating the Earth, and that is where you get basically what is going on with the Earth at the beginning of Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now, essentially at this point, Dr. Maxis is trying to find a way to save his daughter at this point. And what he ends up doing is once again, separating her soul from Richtofen and sending it to Agartha. Which if you don't know what Agartha is, it's essentially this place in between dimensions, and he sent her there to essentially keep her safe. Now, this is probably one of the most confusing parts of the entire story. The reason being is at this time, Samantha can actually still control zombies from the Agartha. However, this is when Dr. Monty comes in. Now, Dr. Monty, in my opinion, is the most confusing part of the zombie storyline. So we're just going to focus on Samantha here. At one point, Dr. Monty takes Samantha away to restore her innocence to her soul. Around this time is when also, other children are introduced, the children version of the other zombies crew, like Nikolai, Dempsey, and the important one, Eddie, or Edward Richtofen. Similarly, with his innocence restored, and basically the two of them are playing inside of a house in the Agartha. Later on, Dr. Monty decides to come back to kill Samantha. At this time, Dr. Maxis once again comes back, a different version of Dr. Maxis, but again, that's part of the confusing story, and saves Samantha, puts them in a teleporter, and teleports them to Camp Edwards. Now, this is the most important part of the first part of Samantha's story. At this point, basically all the adults, the Primus and the Ultimus crew are celebrating at this point, having some drinks in the forest when all of them die. Why? Nikolai has poisoned the alcohol, and essentially what he explains to Samantha is that this is the only way of stopping the cycle and essentially saving the world. At this point, Nikolai hands a pistol to Samantha, telling her to finish the job. Now, after doing so, the dimension that they're in plunges into darkness. However, they see a light at the end of the tunnel, and at the very end of this story, you can see Samantha and Eddie walking towards the light. So at this point, you may be wondering, how does this child turn into this full-grown adult that we see in Black Ops Cold War. This is where the second part of Samantha's story comes in. So after Samantha escapes, she then goes back to West Germany. And at this time, we don't really know how she grew up, if she found a family or if she was just kind of on the streets on her own. But in the year 1976, she joined the Federal Intelligence Service, which in Germany is called the BND. I'm not even going to try to say the word that that stands for, but just essentially no it's the federal intelligence service now later in the year 1983 she starts to realize and find videos of several outbreak zones starting to appear around the world this is when samantha reaches out to weaver giving him a call and telling him to look at the tape that she sent him this tells him about project end station and that's what we see the video from now at this point Samantha doesn't go directly and talk to Weaver because she doesn't know who she can trust. She realizes that the BND and the intelligence agency that she is working for is probably compromised by someone named the Omega Group. This is a group that is trying to go into the ether to refine Ethereum, to create weapons, and to win the Cold War. And as we find out at the end of Firebase Z, it turns out that Kravchenko is actually one of the people involved with this. Now, Samantha has a huge lack of trust for anyone in the intelligence service because of this. And because because of this, she stays away from Project End Station, but then realizes that Weaver did the right thing by sending Requiem in. Now, at this point, she goes to Vietnam because she hears of another outbreak and uh, where the Omega Group is hiding. She also knows one of the agents that's there named Ravanov. Upon getting there, she is captured by Peck and interrogated. At this point, Peck realizes that he is not going to break Samantha, so instead of continuing to torture her, he throws her into the dark ether. Now, she's only in the dark ether for two days, but she describes the experience as feeling more along the lines of two months. Now, this actually explains 
a lot with the entire zombie story, as we now know that inside the ether, there is massive time dilation. This could explain the long amount of time that we see Samantha as a child back in the previous part of the story that we looked at. Now, after being rescued by Requiem, Samantha finally agrees to go meet with Weaver so that she can have a talk with them. Now, this actually brings up a lot of questions, because is Samantha going to tell Weaver about her childhood, or is she just going to stick to what the Omega group is currently doing with Ethereum? It's also noted in some intel that Samantha describes being in the ether and having dreams and seeing people's faces, one of which was a boy that she describes as damaged, but that nonetheless dangerous. Could this boy be Eddie? I don't know. This is where the story ends. This is where we are caught up to at this point. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full story, at least so far, of Samantha Maxis. I tried to keep it brief. I tried to keep it detailed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a hell of a video to make and a hell of a story to cover. So if you did enjoy it, like I said before, it would be awesome if you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, want to stay up to date on all my videos and all the story videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we have a lot to talk about.